another video from Buckinghamshire Healthcare NHS Trust on how to intubate a patient with suspected or confirmed COVID-19. So before we start, we're going to go through our checklist before we enter the room to make sure everything is ready. Um, we want to make sure we've got the correct patient and that this patient is indeed for intubation. Do we have the correct patient? Yes, we do. Do we definitely need to intubate this patient? We do. Perfect. Because this patient is suspected or confirmed coronavirus, um, we need, will need to make sure that we have strict COVID-19 appropriate PPE, which we'll, we'll put on before we enter the room. Before we continue, we're going to allocate walls. The intubator uh, is going to be the person with the most airway experience and who's going to be the team leader. In this case, that will be me. Um, drugs monitoring and timing, you're going to do that. Um, our uh, assistant and high blood pressure if we need to, you're going to do that. And then we're going to have a clean runner, which will be you, who will be waiting here outside the room in case we need help. Um, if we need emergency front of neck access, I will be doing that. We also need to decide who we need to contact uh, if we need further help. Um, in this case, we will call the ICU consultant by pressing the emergency buzzer. All right, so before we're going to go into the room to integrate this patient, we need to check that we have all the kits that we need. Um, so I'm going to go through the checklist for our equipment. The first thing we need is a bag, mask, valve or medicine seat. So we've got a water circuit here. Um, we've got inline suction ready and we've got an ATV filter. Okay. Uh, we need a, a little PL2 clamp which is here um, and then we will set up our ventilatory circuit uh, so that um, the suction and um, the ATV filters are connected in the right order. The next thing we need is our uh, Goodell airway um, which are underneath the trolley. Uh, we need working suction, um, so uh, we've got this one and then inside we've got the Yantara suction ready. Um, we have our video linoscope, which is here. Uh, we have a bougie and silet, which is attached to our trolley. We have two tubes of different sizes, uh, ties and a syringe to inflate the intertracheal tube cup. We have eye gels of different sizes in case we um, are unable to um, intubate and uh, we have an emergency front of neck access kit ready just outside the door in case we need to um, go to plan B. The other thing we need to check is whether we have all the drugs that we need. Do we have an induction agent? Yes. Perfect. Do we have a muscle relax? We do. Yes. Do we have metronidol? Yes. Epigen? Yes. Perfect. Um, do we have sedation ready for both intubation? Yes. Amazing. Uh, and do we have flushes? Yes, we have flushes. Great. Do we need an Oxford Fellow based on this patient's BMI? No. Okay. Has the patient got any allergies? No allergies. Okay. Is there any possibility you might be pregnant? No. Okay, thank you very much. So for this patient, uh, our intubation plan is as follows. Our plan A is going to be a rapid sequence induction and um, attempting to intubate the patient. Uh, if this fails, we're going to go to plan B, which is going to be an eye gel. Uh, plan C is going to be two-handed, two-person bag mask ventilation, uh, but we will try and avoid that because of the risk of aerosolization. Um, and our plan D is going to be our emergency front of neck access using scalpel, bougie and ET tube. Are we all happy with that? Does any of you have any concerns? Alright, let's don our PPE and integrate this patient. I'm now going to assemble the ventilatory circuit for a patient with suspected COVID-19. The first thing I need is a face mask, which needs the angle piece. Um, next to the face mask, I'm going to put the inline suction um, making sure that I assemble it in the right direction so that the suction goes towards the patient. Um, on the other angle, I'm going to put the HME filter in this manner. Uh, behind the HME filter, I'm going to attach the capnography in this way. And after the capnography, I'm going to attach 
um, our uh, Maple Swim C circuit. So, have we checked CO2 and chest movement? Yes. And have we secured the uh, endotracheal tube? We'll do that now. So now we're going to transfer onto the ventilator. We need to clamp the ETT and place the ventilator on standby during any disconnection. Ensure that all connections are secure before we do this. So, do you mind doing that on? So, ventilators off currently. Yeah. The clamp. Yeah. So, clamp is on now. Ventilator is connected. I'm going to undo the clamp. Ventilator is on. Finally, we need to insert an MG tube and send off viral swaps to 